We're headed to the capital, Willemstad. This is where 95% of the population on Curacao lives. Most tourists don't even get out of Willemstad. After arriving yesterday on Curacao and officially <laughs> ending our time in Colombia, we are calling this island our home for the next 10 days. And the first thing we're going to do in the capital city is eat. And our host has given us a perfect restaurant to try out. And then after that, we're heading to Willemstad. Look at how Caribbean our little house is looking. Beautiful island colors, very cheerful. We're now at a typical Caribbean restaurant called Commodore Criollo. I just told the lady that we've never eaten Caribbean food before, so she told, she explained a whole menu to us. She said that here in Curaçao we usually eat conch, which is like, I think a snail in the shell. I, I really don't know. We've never tried it before, but I'm gonna have stewed cabbage with pork, and then he's gonna have to conch. And we have lemonade, because we just came from South America and they do juices all day, every day. It's kind of in our staple now. Good. So we were just given this, and I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Is it like an appetizer? It's like what we eat is like a sweet potato casserole. Mm -hmm. This is like a sweet bean casserole. This is called tutu, which is cornmeal with uh, beans. I mean, I already know what mine tastes like because she gave me a sample. It's stewed cabbage, it's sweet, and it has pork in it, and it's delicious. Mm. But I'm very curious about your conch. <laughs> Tell us how it is. Let's see about this conch. Spilled beans. Chewy? Yeah? No, it's like um... Guatitos? <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. Rice, meat, uh, and I don't know what this is, I think it's potatoes. It's, it's like um, chewy crab. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but it's pretty good. So to me, it tastes like, um, like shrimp. Shrimp? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's fishy. Okay, so after that Caribbean meal, we're headed to the capital, Willemstad. This is where 95% of the population on Curacao lives. It's where a lot of the fun stuff is. Most tourists don't even get out of Willemstad. Um, so today we're just going to do like a walking tour through the entire city. Uh, we don't know much about it, but uh, they have signs and stuff around that will help us out. Uh, and you're coming along for the ride. And luckily, all the signs are in two languages. English for me. Dutch. And Dutch, because this <laughs> is a Dutch island. All right, so we're on top of the Rift Fort. This was the fort that was used initially to keep pirates away from the city. Uh, but today, it's just a shopping center where we're going to find some coffee and maybe a shot of green rum. And here's also where you can see the old city of Wittemstad. It's so pretty. It really looks like the gingerbread style houses in Amsterdam, but here yes. they are just much more colorful. But here on the fort, you have like a little shopping mall, plaza area where we were yesterday as well. We're gonna find some coffee and then explore. You look over there, you can see the remnants of the old city. It was initially uh, walled in, but it became overpopulated. So they took down some of the walls. Okay, so as we're walking to Starbucks here on the road, a uh, little history on Curacao. So Curacao was a big stopping point in the slave trade. The Dutch uh, would bring slaves to this island and this is where they would stay until they were sold. Uh, they would actually keep them in a little island right off the coast called Little Curacao um, and make sure that they're not sick. So this is the place where a lot of slaves came before they went to their final destination. And there were people here who were indigenous to the islands, uh, but they were kicked off, they were sold into slavery, or they died from disease. So. so we're now on the way to the old town, and we're going to walk over the Queen Emma Bridge, made out of a lot of pontoon bridges swings open and then that's our gateway 
to the historic downtown. And this bridge connects the two sides of Willemstad, Puna and Otrobanda. It's nice to be in a Caribbean island. We are now walking on the strip with all these colorful houses. So these houses have a story. The reason they're so colorful is because the governor in the 1880s of the island didn't want to see any more whites because he said this was giving them headaches. And that's why we have all these beautiful colors. I'm not sure if that's true. It's a rumor. I think it's true. of nice small alleyways and this whole Willemstad, at least the center the center historic historical downtown is so colorful it makes you feel that caribbean island feel we were walking through the streets and we came across the oldest synagogue in the entire western hemisphere it's right here i don't know what this says but it's been here since 1732 and it's ten dollars to get in so we're just going to keep on walking but if you didn't know the oldest synagogue is here on Curacao. Oh no. So we're just continuing walking down the downtown to see what we can find. It's just nice to walk and see the, you know, the neighborhoods and how the city is laid out. This is an interesting island. You can get, first of all, Dutch cheese, liquors, Cubans, souvenirs, hats, anything you want, even a Curacao roadmap. So we hardly ever get souvenirs anymore. Uh, but when I did get souvenirs way back in the day, it was always those Starbucks cups. I had like 30 of them, but what do you guys get when you come on a trip? What's what souvenirs? Let us know in the comment section below. seeing some more street art here and I think this street art really signifies why people come to Curaçao. Diving. Curaçao is a great island to see the underwater world, scuba diving, snorkeling, you name it. This is the island. So we are right here and there is where you have all the good beaches on the island. In Curaçao you have the second largest reef in the entire world. It reaches from here all the way up to Belize. So if you're, Same. Yeah, if you're a scuba diver, this is the place to be. Oh, and that's what we love about being on an island is that the ocean is all around you. You always smell it. Oh. Love it. We're now on our way to the newest Straat, which is a little deeper in uh, Willemstad and kind of out of the touristy area. Uh, should be a more newer, younger part of the city. And here is where you will find colorful streets with hip bars and cafes. Perfect to have some lunch or a drink in the evening. Willemstad is truly a perfect location to have good food and a good time. What do you do in Willemstad besides walking around and seeing all the sights? You eat, you drink. Now we have a mojito, a blue mojito and it's made with blue curacao which is the liquor here on the island it's made here with dried orange peel i'm still not sure what it is it doesn't taste like a normal mojito but this is what you do when you're on an island right you drink have fun snorkel with turtles which we're gonna do tomorrow and that concludes our day here in willemstad we're sitting in a very idyllic very fun square somewhere tucked away in willemstad enjoying blue curacao Mm. Cheers to you and see you in the next vlog. By the way guys, it's an orange liquor and I know it's green, uh, but we ordered a blue one. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> Nikki here uh, ordered a mojito and she expected it to come in a very nice fine glass with the leaves. But uh, we got plastic, plastic cups. cups and the straw. But I, I was just saying like, this makes me feel like I'm like, you know, that college person who's on a beach bar. <laughs> Denny made a good comment saying, but we're on an island. Totally makes sense. Yeah.